Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I talked about 24 different ways how you could make money as an artist, and I have received overwhelmingly amount of feedbacks like comments, shares, and likes. And also, I was given a lot of tips like I have used this site and it was good, or how much I paid for that site. And I like to continue talking about this topic because obviously making money is an important part of creative lifestyle. I know that it's important to uh, have all the possibilities is possible. Therefore, I'm not ruling anything out. I think I'm building one of the most complete list of websites where you can sell your art and art prints. And this time I will bring you 20 more. And those websites, again, it's not a sponsored site. I will list them purely on the alphabetical order. So I'm not prioritizing one over another. I will just show you from my research and my own honest opinion. There are some sites are paid. Some are quite expensive as well. Not all are free like in the last video. So this is purely optional. You will find something that are better for your needs and maybe it is worthwhile paying them. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, Amazon. I'm sure you know Amazon, and Amazon has a special section for art called Amazon Art, launched in 2013. That is only a section for very, very famous and well-established artists like Andy Warhol, like Contemporary Masters. As an emerging artist, you don't get a chance to work in the Amazon Art section, but you can sell in the Home and Kitchen section. I know it sounds very odd, like kitchen, but it's just home and decor. It's the way they call it. And you can sell it as long as you have a UPC code for your item. It's like the barcode, like ISBN for the books. You need that to associate your product to that listing. I don't really know how it works, but if you are willing to check it out and spend some time, I'm pretty sure you will be able to sell your art on Amazon Home and Kitchen section. Number two, Artfire. Artfire is an Arizona-based marketplace to artisan goods of all kinds. In many ways, it's like Etsy. They charge a monthly seller plan starting from $4.95 and the 23 cent listing fee per item. If you pay 20 per month, they will waive the listing per item and you can list for free up to 1,000 items. Number three, ArtPaw. ArtPaw is a free website. It's an online gallery with POD services integrated. You can sell originals, prints, and you can also sell with their print-on-demand services. No membership fee, no commission, no exclusivity, and their slogan is start selling in minutes, fast and free to sell your art only on ArtPaw. There are currently 130,000 artists working with ArtPaw. So it's a very, very crowded already, although it is a relatively new platform. So one of the things is that if you want to stand out, you need to pay them to promote you because if they don't charge any commission, like, right? So I mean, how they make money. Number four, art. Please. Art Please is an online gallery with careful selection of artists and artworks. It has offices in New York, Mallorca, for those of you who doesn't know where is Mallorca, check it out, and Prague. They're looking for the finest works by the most enduring figures in art, as well as cutting edge pieces by emerging artists. Wow, that's a statement, huh? You can submit your work and you can wait for them to get back to you and discuss the fees and stuff. So it's like case by case. And there are not a lot of um, like uh, very transparent information about the numbers. So I cannot provide you with the numbers right now. Number five, Artplode. Artplode is again online gallery with no commissions. However, there is a relatively high fee to list your art. So it's a $60 per artwork but the listing is not taken off the shelf as long as you don't take it off. So if you want, you can just list your art there for a long time. But if you have many, many artworks to list, 60 per work is just so much more expensive than any other platforms like Etsy, like Artfire, like Artfire is 23 cents. Come on, like 60 versus 23 cents. Number six, Art Storefronts. Art Storefronts is a online art business solution for photographers and artists. As a artist, you pay Art France to build your own art gallery. So I would say if you need a website, you need an e-store, you can go to Art Storefronts to let them build one for you, but it's not cheap. I talked to one artist who worked with Art Storefronts. He just paid the fee that is a once-off 2,500 feet to work with art storefronts. So I'd say it's too expensive for many artists. They claim that once you work with them, you can have 10 to 20,000 per year revenue thanks to their 
technology and package and services is your choice, I would say 2,500 is definitely too much. Number seven, Cafe Press is an old timer founded in 1999. It is an American online retailer of user customized on demand products. When it was founded, there was not even print on demand as like industry yet. It was just serving individual customers who wanted their dog, cat, and baby picture printed on mugs. But once they provided the print on demand services, it really grew very fast and it scaled. So one cool feature launched in 2000. 11, there is a fan portal that allows you to create fan art. They had made a contract with Universal Pictures. So if you want to create, for example, uh, ET related merchandising, you can, and you can do it with fan portal. They will not sue you for any copyright uh, infringement because Coffee Press has already existing agreement with those brands, those copyright holders, you can see the list. And if you are interested, definitely don't miss the fine portal. Number eight, Kataviki. Kataviki is a Dutch company founded in 2008. It's an online auction platform for buying and selling all kinds of arts, craft, and antiques. One of the founder was a comic collector, so I guess he knew very well the customer's purchasing psychology behind. Kataviki was originally in Dutch, but then made in English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, and Chinese. For those of you who want to speak your own language, I guess it's convenient. It's like the European version of eBay for art and collectibles. Number nine, Displate. Founded in 2013, Displate is a Warsaw-based manufacturer specializing in creating metal posters. It's like the Society6, but specialized in metal posters. They have their own factory. You can see the quality is quite amazing. And you set the commission and you would like to receive as an artist and they will work out the price for you. It has over 30,000 artists from all over the world providing 600 artworks to collectors. There's no fee you can sign up for free and upload at least eight artworks to start with so that they know you are serious as an artist. You have at least eight works. I think it's not too much to ask. And uh, one fun fact, the highest monthly payout to one artist in 2018 is 24,000 US dollars. So I guess they do pay serious money. Number 10, eBite. eBite is an online auction website founded in December 1998. eBite operates in 23 countries. It's like the eBay, but eBite. It allows sellers to sell antiques, arts, books, cars, and baby stuff. Number 11, eCreator. Founded in 2004, eCreator is an online marketplaces and e-commerce website builder based in California. So imagine a virtual shopping mall where you can have your customers visiting your store in that mall. That is pretty much like eCreator. It's very similar to the artist storefronts in many ways, but it's free and you just pay 2.9 commission fee after a product is sold. If you want premium positioning, you need to pay a fee for them to promote you. Again, this is very similar to many other sites you pay to promote. Number 12, eBay Collectives. Launched in 2016, eBay Collective is a section of eBay like the equivalent of Amazon art. It's the world-class collectibles, high-end quality antiques and stunning art right from the comfort of your couch. So eBay Collective is more like a special store specialized for interior designers, architects, and high-end customers. I don't think it's made for average consumers like Society6. If you think that your art and your crafts are suitable to sell on eBay Collective, check them out. Number 13, Etsy. I'm sure you know what is Etsy, but in case if you don't know everything, I will just quickly brush it through. Founded in 2005, Etsy is a e-commerce website focused on handmade or vintage items and craft supplies. Those items fall under a very wide range of categories and my problem with them is that it's too wide. Like you can have drop shipping stuff, print on demand stuff and very high end handmade stuff. Like I think the scale is a bit too high and it's not niche enough, but it's a very, very big player in the market. The site has over 60 million items for sale at any given time. Not 6 million, okay, 60 million. If you want to stand out among 60 million items, it's very difficult today because the market is quite saturated. Just to start from zero, Etsy is very hard to compete. 
Number 14, Fun Art America. This is also one of the very popular sites among our followers on Instagram. I had received many artists messaging saying that they use Fun Art America. Founded in 2006 in Chicago, Fun Art America is one of the world's biggest print-on-demand website and marketplace. There are over 500,000 artists selling on this site. The standard account is free and the premium account costs 30 a year. 30 a year is not too bad. It's quite affordable. So if you want to sell with them, I think it's worth it to get 30 a year premium account. Artists can set their own margin while Fine Art America fulfills the orders for you. Number 15. Online gallery art. I don't even know how to call them because their name is online gallery dot art, like so generic, so descriptive. Founded in 2010, online gallery is a Dutch online gallery. Uh, I mean, how can I put it? That allows artists to create sites within their site. Again, this is very similar to many other sites I mentioned in this video. It's not too innovative. It's a huge site where you can have your own like sub sites within, and it's very cheap. The cheaper basic plan costs 195 euro a month, and the standard plan costs 495 a month. It's a smaller company with a European clientele. So if you would like to enter the European market with very little competition, I guess you know this is could be a potential option for you. Number 16, Shop Vida. And they call themselves Vida and they are like you know very sensual, very like spiritual. Shop Vida is an online boutique for artists and designers. It's a high-end version of Society6. It's free to join however they ask for exclusivity of that product of your choice. If you want to sell on Shop Veda, for example, a scarf, you can only sell scarves on Shop Veda of that specific design. You cannot sell on Society6 or any other sites anymore, not even on your own website. So that's exclusivity for that specific item, but you can still sell t-shirts or any other kind of art prints or stuff. There's no exclusivity for other kind of products, only for the specific product on Shop Veda. You just get in touch with the representative and they will send you instructions. Number 17, Shop Envy, founded in 2010 in New York, is an e-commerce platform which consists of an online store builder and a social marketplace. It has over 65,000 brands and millions of products listed. It's like the free version of Etsy. I like the social marketplace uh, positioning in the market. I don't think any other people like Etsy, Ecrete, I don't think that I have seen anyone has a social value like Store Envy. So in that case, if your art has any environmental social aspect, go with them is a pretty good choice. Number 18, Single Art. Founded in 2017, Single Art is a very young online art gallery based in Paris. They are like the a real gallery but in the online form. They select well-established artists from all over the world and curate the content for their high-end collectors. You can apply, you can get in touch, but it's their decision to go with you or not. So you don't really have a say. That's why I say it's like a real gallery, right? They have a very rigid selection process. So if you think that you want to give a shot, get in touch, but don't have high hopes because they are very picky. Number 19, Teespring. Founded in 2011, Teespring is a free e-commerce platform that allows you to sell customized products without upfront costs. You can set the margin as your artist pay out and you get 100% of that. So it's very much like a display. For those of you who don't want to do IT stuff to link your store with the POD service provider, then Teespring is like a one-stop shop without upfront costs. So maybe it's a good option for you. Number 20, Zazzle. Founded in 2005, Zazzle is an online marketplace that allows designers and customers to create their own products with independent manufacturers. So in this case, it's more like Printify than Printful. For those of you who don't know the difference, you can check out on the internet or in the video. I will drop in a link in the description below about POD and stuff. Basically, Printful is a company that prints stuff for you, but Printify is like Airbnb of different companies that print stuff for you. 
So Zazzle works with independent manufacturers. Maybe it is a disadvantage for you, maybe it's an advantage, you can check them out. You can be an artist slash designer by uploading your own designs. You can become a maker if you make your own physical products or associate promoting Zazzle using referral links. So you can make money by promoting Zazzle, not necessarily making your own stuff. So Zazzle is also very trending. I know many artists are using Zazzle, so it's like less saturated than Etsy. So if you want to give it a try, go and check them out. Now you have heard the 20 different websites where you can sell your art as a independent artist, designer, craftsman, entrepreneur. There are many other choices out there, but I think with the 24 plus 20 today with the 46 method is already a handful. I probably will make another video if there are new changes or new websites being founded, being discovered. And if you have any suggestions, advice, or you would like to share your experience working with one of the sites, make sure you drop me a comment below. Thank you very much for your support and for your time. See you in the next video.